Hello everyone, today we're doing a book review on East of Eden by John Steinbeck. This copy is actually from the Penguin Classics, the Orange Edition, and this copy was 601 pages. Look how small the text was. This was actually really, really hard to read. So if you don't like really, really small text, I don't recommend this copy, but I got through it and it was a little bit smaller than some other copies. And this was actually a lot to carry around, but I got through it. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and before I get into it, I, I love this cover. It's really, really pretty. I love the orange. And if you know me well, I actually wear a lot of colors. So this matched my outfit sometimes and I felt really, really fun and whimsical reading this on the train. But this was definitely my train book and I actually checked it out from the Manhattan Library. And I had to renew it because it took me some time to read it because uh, the text was so small and it was actually quite long. But overall, this, this was an amazing story and let's get into it. So East of Eden was written in 1952 by John Steinbeck. This is a fiction book, but it does have two families. One family is actually based on a real family. That is the Hamilton family. That is based on John Steinbeck's family. And the other family is the Trask family and they are based on two biblical stories, Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel. East of Eden opens up with two brothers in 1910 in the Salina Valleys of California. In the late 19th century, we have a man named Samuel Hamilton who settles in Northern California with his wife, Liza, and they go on to have nine children. And then later we have Adam Trask who ends up marrying a woman named Kathy and Adam eventually becomes friends with Samuel Hamilton. Before moving to California, Adam lives in Connecticut on a farm with his half-brother Charles. Charles is a dark and moody brother and he has some issues with his brother because his father Cyprus favored his brother Adam. After the death of of the father Cyprus, he leaves his sons with lots of fortune and it's very unexpected. So this leaves the brothers to have further issues and they are unable to get along. Adam falls in love with the woman Kathy and this upsets Charles and this continues to affect their relationship, which further leads Adam and Kathy to move to California. And then from there, a lot happens with this family. Kathy and Adam's marriage becomes very interesting. Some people run away, some issues were made, some people died, murder, deception, drugs, tragedies, lots of things go on. And I don't want to spoil it, but it is quite the story. But I want to specify that. So the Hamilton family is based on a real family, which is John Steinbeck's family. And because of that, they are more relatable than the Trask family. The Trask family is based on the two biblical stories, Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel. And because they are based on those two stories, their family line is very tragic and has a lot of trauma. I think what I enjoyed the most about this story is all the philosophy that I was able to gain from it. One of the most prominent motifs in the story was good and bad, light and dark. John Steinbeck likes to write that he believes that everyone has good and bad in them and it is up to the individual to choose good or bad and we all have the opportunity to be good but often we choose bad. <laughs> I think one of my favorite characters in the book was Lee. I think Lee is the most popular character because he was very smart. He was a devoted servant to the Trask family and to Adam. However, I also want to critique some of the things about him. I, although he was very smart and very intelligent and hardworking, I think sometimes he lacked a little bit of integrity. I think he had a lot of great beliefs and aspirations and a lot of knowledge. And I think sometimes he just limited himself to his role as the servant. He had some goals and aspirations that he often talked about, but he didn't fully execute them. He decided to just stay stagnant at times and that was disappointing. And I wish he was able to fulfill some of those dreams that he talked about and he, he dreamed of. But at times, I think he just decided to remain comfortable and stay in his position as a servant for Adam and the Trask family as all. Well. Overall, I think this is a lovely, lovely book. It's quite easy to read. It's just very long. Sometimes I did get a little confused with all the different characters in the Hamilton and family getting intertwined with other characters that they met along the journey but it's a really really interesting read and it had me just thinking a lot about my own beliefs and philosophies that are brought up in this book especially the main one light and dark i definitely will see myself rereading this book in the future i really really enjoyed a lot of those beliefs all right guys thank you guys for watching my book review on east of eden please let me know if you're going to check out the book and let me know if you want me to do any other book reviews